tonight a real life mob story that features sex lies and audio tape and there was quite a plot twist in the closing chapter redemption for an FBI agent accused of working for the mafia here's Jeff Glor after Mary Barry's murder New York prosecutors called Lynn DeVecchio's case the most stunning example of official corruption they'd ever seen the former FBI supervisor was accused of betraying the bureau to murder four men DeVecchio's murder trial centered on his relationship with Gregory Scarpa, a late legendary boss in New York City's Colombo crime family. The star witness, Linda Shiro, longtime mistress of Scarpa. She said Agent DeVecchio ordered mob hits, as prosecutors told the jury in opening arguments. Linda will tell you that she was there in 1990 when DeVecchio alerted Scarpa that Patrick was weak and had to be killed. It looked like a slam dunk. Until today, a dramatic courtroom development that seemed made for the movies. The reason for the reversal? Two reporters, including Tom Robbins of The Village Voice. The entire case collapses in the span of how long? Less than 24 hours. In court this week, Shiro testified DeVecchio was behind the mob hits, including that of Colombo soldier Joe Brewster. But that's not what she told Robbins 10 years ago in this taped interview. When has nothing to do with Joe Brewster? No. No, 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 we met Joe Booster. We never told him anything. Robbins turned over the tapes and turned the prosecution's case upside down. Without a reliable witness, today they dropped the charges. The interest of justice at this point requires me to stand before you and ask you, on behalf of the district attorney, to um, dismiss. A guy was facing prison for life over this, over her testimony, and I didn't see how I could sit silent. Tonight, DeVecchio's a free man likely for good. They called it the worst corruption case in the history of New York. Are you shocked they built it all on one witness? I am surprised. I am surprised that, that the DA, Joe Hines, is a veteran. I, I am surprised that they went as far as they did based on this one shaky witness. One shaky witness in a case that has a lot of people shaking their heads. Jeff Glor, CBS News, New York.